So there are many different guys online who fillets. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, but it was frozen, so I, I just brought it out of my truck and it's thawed now. It's thawed enough where it's not too soft, it's just perfect. You can cut it without the meat breaking on you because whitefish, they're really soft. So what I do is uh, I cut it out and then I use a plucker. This is a plucker right here. And I bought this down in Chicago, H Mart, H Mart in Chicago. Um, this is a this is a cook pluck or salmon and stuff like that, so which is really good. So I pluck my, my side bones out. I don't cut it out because that's losing meat and you're cutting it out. This is the 10 inch, and I, I also have the 9 inch. They're both sharp. I love these because they're really sharp. So what I do too is I cut it right here, right behind the gill. I don't go all the way down, I just stop right where the bone is. And then I'll turn around, I'll go down the, the spine, right outside the spine here. And I'll go down right over the fin. Just cut a little bit only, right over the fin. And when I get down to this part right here, right where, kind of like right at, in between this fin and this fin, I'll go right through it, poke it right through. Put it right through like this and slide it through all the way like that. I'll find where the bone is and I'll, I'll cut around it, break the Y bone off. You can hear the Y bone cracking right there. Break the Y bone off and then just follow. It's still frozen in the inside. It's kind of hard to cut it because it's frozen. And then what I'll do is I'll Right where the ribs are. Oh, it's getting hard to cut because it's frozen. Then I'll go right around the ribs. Slow like that. The point of doing this is not so that you don't cut the gut. The gut's not everywhere. So you contain the gut in there. A lot of people, they like to cut the side here and open the gut up. But I like to do it where you leave the gut in there because you don't want to cut the gut because that's more mess. After you fillet both sides of the fish out, lay it on the skin side. Don't take the skin off yet. Lay it on the skin side. Feel the bone along the uh, meat side. And the bones, the Y bones should be about three quarters up to the, where the fin used to be. And feel it along the edges, along the side. You can feel it with your finger and start plucking it out with your plucker. And squeeze your pluck pretty tight so you can pull it out. A lot of time when you pull out the Y bone, you might just break it and maybe half of it come out. But the other half is still in there, so you still have to feel it inside the meat and grab it with the plucker and pluck it out. So like what I'm doing is every time you pluck it out, you want to push down on the meat slightly so that you pull the bone out only and not the meat that's stuck to the bone. If you see, I pulled some out and some of the meat came out with the bone, but that's okay because either way, at the end, you still have more meat than if you were not plucking it out. So what you do is you pluck it out, you save more meat on the fillet, and you don't have to cut it out, which you're losing meat. So that's a benefit is you get more meat by plucking it out, but the downside is it takes more time to pluck this out. So I've plucked it out, on a smaller fish, you could get around 25, 26 bones out. On a larger fish, I've counted up to 32 bones. So you would take more time to pluck this out. But another benefit is your family would love to eat the fish with no bone and you get more meat. My kids usually don't want to eat fish with bones. So if I pluck it out, they're eating with us every meal. It is quicker to fillet and cut out the Y bone, but you're losing the meat. And this takes a little bit more time. I average about five minutes per fish. 
with plucking it out and so it's a benefit and there's some disadvantages of plucking it out like this. And also at the end of your fillet, I know that some people will cut out the blood bloodline on the side. You can do that too, but I haven't found that as a problem at all to cut that bloodline on the side. So I'll just fillet it, pluck it out, and just pack it in a Ziploc bag and save it for a meal. Okay, if you like this video, enjoy this video, subscribe, push like, and share with your buddies. Let me know in the description below if this helped you or if you like it. Or if you got some ideas, let me know. And watch out for some more videos that I'm going to put out in the next couple weeks.